Hello guys. Today we're going to talk about how to uninstall SQL Express from your machine. It also applies on SQL Server as well. So you might think it's a dummy video, but trust me it's not. When you're trying to uninstall SQL Express, you might be confused. So let me get into that very quickly. Um, okay, so I'm in my computer. Let's go to the uninstall section and let's really try with the SQL. So now, what should you remove? If you remove any one of those, that might, that might affect uh, running on your Visual Studio components and that might uh, really not uninstall the full SQL Express from your machine. And which led to the point that uh, are you going to remove those one by one or by one click so what would be the solution the trick is only uninstall which doesn't have any size and the versioning click on that try removing and then go step by step next 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 and you will be done so that goes with the uninstalling factor so uh, another thing uh, about the SQL Express or SQL Server is that people continuously ask that what version you should install. So let me clear that up very quickly. So when you're installing or downloading SQL Express, if you go to this link, let me go there. So if you go to this link, you'll find several uh, files to download for so I'm really talking about SQL Express here not the server version server version is the commercial version and you have to buy it to use it and uh, server is for really high maintenance um, scenario you really don't need a SQL server installation on demo basis or when you are trying something in your machine or developing something for the client because you can really export the whole database SQL uh, from SQL Express to server directly now. So this applies for uh, 2008 R2 version, 2008 version, 2012 and 2014 version as well. But you cannot go downside, you have to go upside. You can go from 2008 to 2012, something like that. So these versions are very confusing that what should you choose and what should be your preference so to answer that question here is my explanation and uh, if you see that expr x64 it means the database only you know that sql uh, express has a sql management studio where you could write your sql and maintain your databases so on so if you want to have that you can also have that only with this one which uh, comes with with tools w t which refers to with tools means uh, which will have the database plus with the management studio and there is another one called uh, advanced so this one this one has everything that you need and uh, these are also the versioning this is for 32 and this is also for 32 maybe there are some versioning differences uh, but the main point is that you could really transform those from these keywords with those and uh, local DB is only for the uh, compact version or the file based system and uh, when you install Visual Studio it's automatically installed so you don't have to care about it and uh, there are other version goes as well so thank you uh, for watching and if you have an email reach to my email address and I'm very helpful I always reply thank you